pause the video and try the example problems when I instruct you to. I will give the answers to the example problems after you unpause me. Good luck. Don't forget, you can always rewind if you don't understand. Smile. So, 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 yo. Okay, welcome everybody to another lesson on circles. Okay, we're going to be learning about tricks with circles. We're going to be talking about tangents. We're going to be talking about secants. And we'll be talking about chords. And we're going to be talking about really all the tricks that we know how to do them that mathematicians have developed over the years. Well, let's first take this situation where we have a tangent line and we have a chord. And then we create two angles here. Well, angle one, okay, will equal one half times the measure of arc AB. Okay? So this angle one will be one half of this arc. And now this angle 2 will equal 1 half the me times the measure of arc BCA. That's an arc. Okay, so this measure here will be 1 half this whole arc. Okay, try this problem and try this problem. Please pause the video and try the problems. The answer for this one is 65. And the answer for this one is 250. Hope you got them right. Okay, let's take a look at this when we have two chords. Uh, in this situation where we have this angle 1 and we have this angle 2. Notice how this is not the center. All right, this is not the center. All right, for this situation, uh, let's take angle 1 and say we're going to have angle 1 will end up equaling 1 half its angles that it shares in the vertical angle that it shares. So that would be uh, the measure of DC plus the measure of of AB and that's the arc. Okay, we'll enclose that. Um, so notice how the measure of this is going to equal this plus this. Alright, let's move on to angle 2. Angle 2 right here will be the same thing. It'll be one half this plus this one. So we're going to have um, one half BC arc plus AD arc. Okay, again, this angle to one half, this one plus this one. All right, try out this example and find out what it is. Pause it. And the answer for this one, X ends up equaling X equals 143. Okay, let's look at these examples where we have tangents and we have secants, okay? And we have mixtures of them too, okay? We could have the connecting out here, connecting out here, or connecting here. Usually the point that they intersect is outside the circle. Okay, for this first one, this angle 1 is going to end up equaling 1 half BC arc minus the AC arc. Okay, notice how it's one half. This angle will be one half. This AC arc minus, no, the B, sorry, this BC arc minus the AC arc. Alright, for this angle two, we'll end up equaling one half, okay, times the PQR, that arc, this PQR outside, minus the arc PR, minus this PR arc, which is right in here. So this angle 2 will equal this whole thing minus this one. My last angle, oh, we can call it angle 3. Okay, angle 3 will end up equaling 1 half times the arc XY minus WZ arc. Okay, so this angle here will be XY minus the WZ. Do you see a pattern here where it's this angle is the outer angle minus this inner angle AC. With the angle 2, it ends up being this outer angle minus this inner angle. And the same thing happened here. We have this outer angle minus this inner angle. And almost always we divide it by 2. So please find out the answer to this problem and pause it. 
Well, you should have found that that x equals 51, and I would have used this formula right here. Okay, in this section we're going to be talking about lengths of, um, in this situation, chords, secants, and here's a tangent plus a secant. Okay, so we want to know about the lengths of these. Well, how long is DC? How long is AE? Over here, how long is EB? Okay, we're not talking about angles. We're talking about lengths of these yellow lines. All right, let's start out with this one. If we have this point E not the center, it's not the center, and they intersect two chords, we'll end up having AE, AE times EB will end up equaling DE times E. C. Notice that it's AE times EB plus DE times EC. Okay, for this situation here where we have two secants, it's going to be quite similar. We're going to end up having AE, AE times EB will end up equaling EC times CD. Okay, that's the same thing. This times this will equal this times this. So you notice when we have variables down here with these questions, we can solve for the variable. All right, this last one, I'll put it up top. Okay, right here for this one. Um, we end up, it ends up being a little bit strange. It ends up being E A squared ends up equaling E C times E D. So this tangent line squared will equal this line times this line. All right, I want you to try this problem, this problem, and this problem. Give it a pause. See which one you need to use. You will find out that in this one, x equals 4. In this one, x equals 6. And the last one, x equals 4. Okay, you should do your practice workbook. You should do whatever you can to do better at math. And don't forget to smile. See ya.